Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft PowerPoint. In this module, I want to show you how you can create your own theme by putting a watermark in the back of a slide. So we're going to look at slide master view and that's where we're going to apply the theme and a watermark. So first of all, to get into the slide master view, you need to go to the view tab and then slide master. Then you get a whole array of different master slides all underneath a top master. So if you click on the top one, whatever you do to this slide will apply to all these sub masters underneath. If I, for example, click on this one, it will only apply to this type of slide. So the bullet list slide, that's all it will apply to. Likewise, this one. All of these are separate slides, but if you want it to apply to everything, you need to put it on the top one. So that's what I want to do. So first of all, I want to insert a picture. So I'm going to insert a picture. I'll insert a stock image. So I'll just pick some random photograph from here. It's not too intrusive like that one. That'll do. Now that comes in, covers the whole of the screen. I'm just going to stretch it a little bit. So it fills the whole slide. Now, obviously, I can't see any of the text boxes. So if I type on this slide, you're not going to see anything. So what you need to do is set the transparency to a, one of these less full options. So I'll go for that one. Now, so that's covering all the boxes, but you can see the text. Now, if I come out of Slide Master for a second, close the Slide Master, you can now go to design but before I go to design I'll just show you every time I press enter now look I'm just going to get a new slide of that background so that's great just backspace them off don't need that what you can now do is save this as a theme so it appears in this custom list like so so save current theme I'll call it um, I'll leave it as theme 2 goes into Microsoft template document themes. You can change that location if you wish. And then what you have now is theme two sitting next to theme one, which is one that I did earlier. So there it is. Now, if I right click on that, you can have this as your default theme. So at the moment, this is my default theme. So I'll just set that as the default. So now if I do control N, it automatically comes up as my default theme. So I'll just go back in and reset that to the one I want. So I'll just drop it down. And this one set as default theme. Control N. Back with my logo on there. Now if you open a, a file, so I'll open Waterloo. What you can do is go to design and there's that theme. So obviously if I click on that, it's going to cascade all the way down. Apart from that one, it's got a video on it. But if I just don't want that to happen, it's just to undo. Let's um, click on this slide. You can right click on this theme and you've got this option. So that's a default option. And then I can click on that one. So I just want it on that slide. And if I click on that slide and hold my control key down and click on that one and say that one right click on this apply to selected slides it's only going to apply it to those slides that you have selected so basically that's just all I want to show in this little video how to create a theme and add it to your list and then make it default and during that process, how to add a watermark in that theme, which in this example is this, is this photograph. So hopefully you found that of use and I'll see you on the next one. Thank you for your time.